Welcome to part two of our Diary of a Solar System. Hey everybody, I'm Garrett with Diary of a Family, where we're intentionally living life with you. In part one of this video, we went through all the different components, the lithium batteries, the inverter, the lithium charger, all the things we needed to get this build going. And if you haven't seen that, by all means, go ahead and check that out. I'll leave a link in the description so that you can get caught up on everything that we're using to build this system. So. Let's get to putting this thing together. All right, so this is what I have been working on. I have my inverter right here. I have my battery shunt coming off my negative. I have my bus bar here. And I have my fuse and then my positive bus bar right there. The only issue that I think I've run into is I believe I did these two backwards. Because I want this to be right next to the battery. So I'm gonna put that here and I'm gonna put my fuse maybe like that. Now the reason I know I'm having this so high is because our this is gonna be vertical and my batteries in relation this will be the ground right here and then this will be in the back wall i have my batteries starting here and then all my components further up i'm trying to give it some space but also not a ton of space so that i don't have to run extra cable the first thing on my list to do is actually cut this section off right here this is way too big for what i need it also it's too tall for the space down in the basement. This is what I've done so far. I have my 2000 watt inverter right up there. I have my bus bars right there. I have my quick fuse right here. My battery shunt right here. And then the little cable that goes over to my positive on my shunt over there. And now I have to put this inside of the battery compartment. Should be interesting. There's the 2000 watt inverter. There's everything I made. And it's all sitting right there. Right above the batteries. Take those off. 
and get those switched out with the lithium and I'll be good. It is time to cut the power and get this stuff hooked up. The other thing we need to unhook before we go in is our battery disconnect, which is this little key up here. And that means our RV is completely without power. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. There's the inside of our RV. See right there. That is our converter. I'm gonna get it unplugged from over there. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. We are making some progress. The ground wire can be a bit of a butt. We're all set. We have our new lithium charger plugged in. It's right there. Plugged in. Back in that corner, you see that little copper wire? That is my ground wire. That's sitting on the back. That copper wire goes right down the frame right there. It's been about three or four hours since I was with you last. I got my inverter plugged in. I had to plug the power and turn it on real quick. I didn't hear anything wrong, so I think I got that one right. Now, I just finished all the wiring up in our office. I'll show you the aftermath after it's all hooked up. Yeah, got one battery out. Woohoo! I'm ready to grab the second battery. Grab it. How heavy are these? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's about 60 or 70 pounds per battery. Mm -hmm. And we've got about 30 pounds for our new batteries. Nice, so cutting the, power, the weight in half. Yes. So probably for the weight of one of these, you're getting two batteries. I can't remember which one I put in first. Which one do you put in first, babe? Aren't they the same? Yeah, it actually doesn't matter. <laughs> I was just trying to be a big joke. Dad joke. But everything's wired up. The inverter's wired up to the, uh, the outlets in the office. Mm -hmm. Everything else is wired up, I just have to Plug the negative and the positive together. Well, not together, because that'll blow it up. Uh, negative together and positive together. Yeah, and don't, batteries. don't do the negative to the positive. We did that before. It wasn't fun. Kaboom. Lots uh, of smoke. Power. Power! What? Okay, you gotta look at it. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty! Yes, that's very fun! Awesome! I'm gonna do it, but I'll find you also eating. I am going to just volt test it just real quick to just make sure we have proper voltage coming in. Five. It checks out! It's good. Woo! I just need to. I need to check the inverter, mm -hmm. make sure that's working. Mm -hmm. And then I need to set up the battery monitor and make sure that's working. Mm 
and then. But, but we you're got, in a spot you can come and have some dinner. Yeah. You've been working on this all we, day. We have batteries. We have 12 volt. We have electricity. This man is a beast. He started at like 10 a.m. this morning. It's like 6 at p.m. now. It's not an easy job. He attacked it. Rawr. Guess what you call tuna on a cucumber? A cucumber? A sea cucumber! Oh my. Sea cucumber. <laughs> yeah, I thought of that. <laughs> you da man. You da bomb. You da beast. Yeah, I got it done. It's a long job. I'm glad I did it this way than that first time. Yeah, he started at like 5 p.m. All I, all I thought I could do was just hook the batteries up. This should be a quick swap job. But you didn't have the crimp tool that you needed. Yeah. And you couldn't fit all the wires onto the post. No. Yep. What's few hours? You did so, awesome this time. Took you a long time, but you got it done. It's my first try, and I had to go through the firewall. <laughs> okay, show us what you've done. Well, as you can see, all of our... Everything's open down here, so we can kind of give you a quick glance at that. Mm -hmm. But we plugged in two outlets through the same... Um, circuit right here so this right now is charging off the battery via our inverter cool. now i have the same thing over here this is also running off the inverter this is our brand new victron battery monitor and then this is the power switch to turn off the inverter from upstairs when we don't need to use, when we don't need to use it so right now my battery backup and i tested the computer it does work is this is running directly off the batteries, which is what so I want. So what you were planning? Yes. All of it works. First As of time. right now, right now. <laughs> now I just need to go and do the complicated world of configuring our batteries in the uh, app. But I can do that while I eat. All right. It is in. It is working, and we have a more efficient power system in our RV. We're really excited to give it a test. And you know what? We are about ready to go on a trip. So we definitely are going to put this thing to the test. The next video in our Diary of a Solar System series is gonna be all about how it works while we travel, the benefits, the cons of using this system while on the road. You won't wanna miss it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, live life intentionally. Bye, everybody.